The Amazon rainforest is teeming with life, even after dark. Nightlife in the Amazon is made up of some of the most interesting, rarest, and most unique animals in the rainforest. These nighttime animals are called nocturnal. Nocturnal animals are adapted to sleep during the day and forage, hunt, fight, and reproduce all in the nighttime. They do this for many reasons, including avoiding daytime predators, avoiding daytime heat, and to avoid competing for resources with daytime animals. On a short night walk in the Amazon, you can see dozens of animals, including insects, mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, all evolved to live in the darkness. Let's take a closer look at some of these fascinating nighttime creatures. These giant caterpillars that look like one, but are actually three, are adapted to walk in a straight line like this so that they appear to be a bigger organism, like a snake, which is a defensive technique that helps them be protected from larger predators. And these little hairs that cover them aren't actually hairs, but are rather spines to inject venom into any would-be predator that tries to bite them. So this is a bullet ant, and this is one of the most venomous ants in the Amazon, in the world, in fact, um, which is why it's named a bullet ant. The sting that it gives is compared to the pain caused by being shot. So that's why it's called the bullet ant. Here are leafcutter ants. And what they're doing is traveling in a straight line from the tree where they're harvesting these small flower pods back to the colony and gathering them up for food. Now, although leafcutter ant colonies number in the billions and they harvest from a single tree at a time, they'll only ever harvest 60% of the plant matter at the top. So they never kill the tree where they harvest from and they don't actually eat all the plant matter that they're harvesting, but rather they take it back to the colony and use it to farm the fungus that the ants eat. This is a baby mouse opossum. And while it looks like a small rodent, it's actually a marsupial. And it's one of the more common nocturnal mammals that you can see in the Amazon. These guys like to climb on small branches and bigger trees and forage for fruits that they eat. This is one of the larger nocturnal animals that you can see in the Amazon, a collared peccary, which is a type of wild pig. Now this guy isn't a wild animal. Instead, he lives in a rescue center because he was taken from the wild as a baby and raised as a pet. So this guy, whose name is Papa, is quite used to humans, and therefore you can be around him like this. But wild ones are quite aggressive and live in groups of around five to 10 individuals. One of the main nocturnal animals you can find in the Amazon rainforest is frogs, specifically tree frogs, like this guy. This is a two-tone monkey frog that's come down to do some nighttime foraging. Frogs like to be nocturnal because temperatures are lower at night, which is good because they're sensitive to high heats. And there's also less predators out and more of their prey out, their prey being small insects. Now this is called the two-tone monkey frog because it's green on top and brown on the bottom, which is a form of camouflage. And monkey frog because as they're adapted to living in the high canopy, they tend to walk hand over hand instead of jumping like ground frogs. Now this is a Peruvian rain frog. And unlike the first frog we saw, which was arboreal, this is a terrestrial frog, which means it lives on the ground. The interesting thing about the rain frogs is that they don't actually have tadpoles like other frogs do, but rather they lay eggs in foam nests that they build on the ground, which develop into teeny tiny little frogs called froglets. This little guy is a turnip tailed gecko, named so for its big tail where it stores all the fat in its body. Now this is an arboreal lizard with these big sticky toe pads that make it able to stick on any surface in the forest. He climbs around at night feeding on small insects and all sorts of other little invertebrates, which are his main prey items. And you can see here, he's a really good climber and his pattern also makes him able to blend into the trees quite well. After meeting some of these unique nocturnal creatures, I hope you're as amazed by them as I am. Although nightlife is more diverse in the rainforest, there are nocturnal animals everywhere in the world. Wherever you are, see if you can find some nocturnal animals near you, and I bet they'll be just as interesting.